were just kind of into Danny. We are like, yeah, yeah Danny, we like, you want to make a movie? Yeah. We were like, whatever movie you want to make, Danny. <laughs> we'll be there. And then he wrote it for us. And uh, so then we showed up, like we said we would. The idea came from a lot, actually a lot of different places. As a movie lover in general, there are a lot of different genres and kind of uh, motifs that I want to touch on in the film. But I was also lucky enough to know who I was working with or who I was writing for beforehand. So I kind of designed the characters around what I felt were their performance strengths and what they could do best in the film. And ultimately, I kind of wanted to subvert the classic female image in a movie as far as the heroine and kind of make this grisly anti-hero type character. So that always is always kind of the through line and as you watch the movie, all these different kind of territories it meanders into kind of reinforce that world. It's sort of a paranoid story about a woman who's a real sort of a wasteoid and she lives in a real suspicious area and suddenly she finds herself inseminated, can't quite figure out how it happened, and a series of wild events ensue. And I would probably describe it to my friends as like, oh, you're my friend, you're gonna like this movie. But I just want to say that's a select group of people. You know what I mean? So like, I mean, I'm not friends with everybody. If I'm friends with you, odds are you might like this movie. There's a lot of these kind of like YouTube conspiracy theory, confessional type videos that you find online that I was actually pulling a lot of language from for the script. And I would just send to them, not necessarily to inform their characters, but just to kind of create the texture of the world that I wanted to have in the movie. So there were definitely some, some moments in production, I think that I felt like pretty excited and fulfilled and it's because visually it's so stylized that it was easy to see that the images we were getting were pretty strong and, and vivid. So yeah, I knew... Even up in Sudbury, we had some really strong department heads. The production design is really rich and wild and the costumes and like they really created this amazing world. It was very tight. It was definitely very ambitious and you know, me being kind of the first time filmmaker, Chloe and Natasha would constantly tell me, you know, you really don't have enough, you know, you don't have time for this, you should trim this, you should cut this. Of course, they know much more than I am. Like, no, 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 I got this. the blocking here. I got this, I got this. And sure enough, at 10 hours, they'd be like, oh my God, we're not getting this, we're not getting that. And Chloe's just like, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh.